Hi guys, welcome to a PD2 walkthrough of Shadow Raid Deathwish. This is the with the updates which have the pre-planning on them. Um, the reason for the tutorial is basically to show you how to do it with the new players that are coming in through the Steam Christmas deals. One of the things that we all struggle with is stealth. So the first thing you'll notice is my gun layout. Well, actually, it's a pre-planner. Luck is a matter of preparation. The whole point of this is Brilliant. to get this done as quick as possible, to get in and out, and get your experience and your money. It so I'm that. placing thermal paste, body bags, and the backup loot drop-off point all close made. to each other. Can also use the bag zip line, but and now it's out of reach, and you've got to wait a long time for it to get back, and then send your loot, and then get back. So I'm taking a silent shotgun, just for its power. You can knock down the gods very easily. Car 4 is the primary weapon. I want to get as loot detection as possible. I think I'm ready, so let's go. Hawk's HUD initialized. As you just seen, I am using HUD hooks, so the displays are going to be different. So in the top right of the screen, you can see That's the depot. extra information. You know what you need to do, but keep it quiet. If the alarm goes, and on Death Wish, I have, I have this guy out. here now. I forgot to pick up a thermal oh, paste because I had to kill him, so at some point I'll have to go back Can't and get it. Much is going on. So in the top right hand corner you've got your hostages, AMC pages that you're allowed, so I'm using one now, you'll see how that goes down in a second. There we are. Body bags, number of guards, bags of loot available, and the gauge packs that you can get with the expansion DLC. So I've killed that first guard because he'll see the loot that's next to these and body I bags, as I'll see later, and I also check for the guard. It's just around this corner. Stay low he's quiet. not there, so that means he's at the other side, but I'm not going to go anywhere near there, so I don't have to kill him at all now. So the first objective, take out the cameras, which you do by hopping up here. Sprint and jump across this gap. Hop on the ledge, then on that little fan there. Keep Just keep jumping. Then I don't go down that stairs. I part go down here a little bit. The reason for that is, is if you bump into a guard who's just came from the stairs actually, you're going to get caught and it's a waste of a pager, you could ruin the contract. So I'm go spec for this, so all my picking is very quick, it's 10 seconds to pick a lock. So immediately we've got the server. There's a dumpster down there. Gage says you can use it to stash some loot. Now again with the updates, the guards are very sensitive to detecting you, as you'll see here. Actually I decided not to try and plant this with him there. Try and get some more loot instead. Guard. Crowbar here. Doesn't always spawn there. But that was quite lucky on that occasion. So I check where he is. He's just started moving back so I can go throw this down by the body Stay bags. throw it against the wall and it drops straight down easy no problem. So I've got to run around before he gets down the stairs, which I think I do. The cameras are back here, you got to unlock another door. Wait this one out till the civilian walks past. I'm drinking tea, if you can hear a slurp in that. So, once I've done with this pager, I'll wait till Bean stops talking. Bag this guy, because they can see through the gap in the door. That's that tiny gap there, and the alarm can go off. I've had that a couple of times now, so I prefer to bag him just to be on the safe side. I'm not going to get the samurai, so I'm just going to use the card in one of these cages. There's usually money in that second one, but there's not on this occasion. So now, you get the top level done as quick as possible, because in a couple of minutes you'll have the helicopter come, which contains either three or four more guards, or an extra container with artifacts in. So I'm carrying cocaine, which isn't a big deal, so I won't get spotted throwing that down. You might do if you're carrying something like weapons or gold, or an artifact. So I think that's pretty much done. I think I check for, I check for weapons, usually a black container here or through here, 
but there's not. So that's the first floor done, we can get going to the main warehouse. Also, I get down here just by aiming for the corner of that joint and just crouch and walk off it, then you'll hit the tyres. Means you don't take any damage on your body armour or your health. Of course, I forgot the thermal paste, but I didn't realise it while I was playing this. I'm recording this after. So, a bit of realisation time. I've got to run back and get the thermal paste. Now at the end of this little tunnel here, through there, is another crowbar, but obviously I've already got one. So I'm just going to go straight up into the warehouse. I run, jump, then crouch to get through there like that, because it's a bit of a bump, so you got to jump over it. That just divides it. It's a lot quicker. So there's some cocaine already. For the purpose of this video, I'm not going to get the artifact, it takes too long to carry. Fault with simultaneous two card reader. Probably ten seconds time lock. They must be hiding something tasty. As you can hear now, the helicopter is arriving. Stay and in this instance, it does bring more guards. So, now I've also got to get this warehouse done as quick as possible. Because they're going to walk around the first floor for a bit, and then come straight down here. Which is going to make my life hell if I'm still around. Watch it, guys. Why the hell did some Iraqi dictator have 17th century Swedish masterpieces? The main thing is just to be patient, take your time with it. Obviously, I'm running around like crazy. But I've been. Mean, have you seen at the start the number of times I've done this contract? I think it's over 40 on Death Wish. It's just so easy for me to run in there with a ghost spec and get it completed. Now something they haven't fixed, I think it's coming up, yep, it's the cocaine through the wall. It hasn't spawned there this time as I go and check, but usually you can just access that and grab it through the wall. It's a bit of a strange bug that I haven't patched for absolutely ages. So there's two containers, crates left to crack open. Never get tired of seeing gold bullion getting bagged. Watch those guys at the top of the window, because they do stand there for a short while and you can be easily seen and detected. So I would advise, advise crouching, if that is the case. And that's the warehouse complete, there was nothing in that, con in that crate, so we're now going to have to move on to the red containers outside. So the hard work's done now, the rest of it's pretty much straightforward, but before I do any of that, I'm going to drop off the loot here. Just in case I do get caught, it does happen. And if that is the case, I can ECM rush it. Now, these guys can't see you dropping the loot off, so if it's anything heavy like weapons or gold, just crouch and, the, and they should be alright. You should get caught. This is the most boring bit of the video, so by all means, if you want to skip this bit, by all means do. As you can see, they're even sprinting. You can't be seen.
but it's much easier. Actually, I'm throwing the bag here. I shouldn't really be doing this. Um, but I know there's no one on the roof, so I can get away with it, because it's just a lot quicker to throw the bag than run after it. So at this point, it's just dropping all the loot off, as you can see. But when the guard comes, it can prove a little bit problematic. As you can see now, he is there. I'll try and highlight him. I missed. <laughs> you should have no problem sprinting with anything light to be seen. It's this last one where he does say, don't get caught, but it's just something to be aware of. Keep track, guys. That's done. That's that leaves three items left to get. So the containers usually contain three or four bags of money. Actually, I was quite lucky here because there's usually a guard at the front, and he wasn't. So I took the chance, to sprint through because this container. Else would have used a the thermal base through the sewers to get here. And I'm not sure whether this is an Easter egg or not, but I do enjoy doing this. Set off the car alarms. But it does have a point to it. It sends one or two guards around to switch off the alarms, and that takes them further away from where you are, where you enter over this side. So, sprint and jump off this edge. Obviously, make sure the course is clear. You want to aim for that blue one in the middle or on the right. This one's just easier to hit in case you mess it up. So again, I'm quite lucky here, because too often than not, there's not loot there. But I just throw it over the side here, out of the way. There's no guards that walk around there, so it's safe. Watch it, guys. This one can't be a pain when there's civilians around. And again, over the side. This bit is open, and you can see there's a few more guards there now. But I decided not to highlight them, just to go straight for the loot. There's usually two in there, they've started putting two in the containers each now, at random locations. Got a guard over here. Now if I was to throw that bag over the side, he would say that, and be alerted by it, as well as the civilian. So, again it's just patience and waiting it out. I do have the fugitive skill that lets you that outlines civilians and enemies that are within a certain range, but I've mostly been just outside it. So getting over here, unclip that and just spam the spacebar. For some reason I jump over the fence completely all together there. And that's pretty much it. Within under fifteen minutes on a death wish level, you've done a very hard contract. Set you, if you come from zero or level ten, you're gonna gain at least twenty levels. And another one. Alright, that'll keep getting sweet. That doesn't suck. Tiptoeing on thick carpet make more noise than you. Expertly done. Now 
is there any other contracts you'd like to see done in this way let us know and I'll do my best to do them and upload them for you comment like subscribe let us know what you think this is first, my first time doing this so be gentle <laughs>